Hi, this is Satiris, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a new blog or website um, using the Hostinger service. Okay, so um, as you can see here, when the website, you can see they start off very, very cheap. They're very, very reasonable, um, at two fifteen a month, and then. Um, the business web hosting goes up to seven ninety five a month. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do here, the first thing you'll do is you would uh, click try. You can try it risk free, or you can click the get started now button. Okay, so once you get uh, click the get started now button, um, and you go in, you'll have a dashboard here. Um, basically if you're setting up a new hosting account you'll click here new hosting account and then you will order whichever hosting account you want okay after you order whatever hosting package you want and um, you will go in here and you will see this um, new hosting account set up okay and you will click on manage and then you will go to the hosting account you want to manage and um, you click the manage button Okay, and um, <clears throat> to add a, a new website, so add a new domain, all you do is come down here to domains and click add a website. Okay, so what you'll need to do um, is you'll need to point your domain first in your um, domain registrar. Okay, so what um, I'm going to do here is going to go to my domain registrar, which is GoDaddy, <clears throat> and I'm going to sign in. Okay, so you'll sign in, and when you sign in, if you haven't already got an account, um, you'll go to create an account. Okay, so you'll click and create a new account. Um, and then once you create an account, you'll come here and you will sign in, okay? And when you sign in, um, then basically you'll come here and what you'll do is you'll type in the domain name that you want. So you'll type in your domain. Okay, you'll search for it make sure it's there and then when you get the domain that you want so say this is the domain you want you click add to cart you go through the process and you'll pay for this domain okay and once you've paid for this domain it will then appear in your domains so if I click here and click on manage domains you'll go to your domain manager <clears throat> obviously you have to sign in so we just signed in so you'll go then to your domain manager and you'll see then the list of your domains here in front of you okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll through my domains. Now this is the domain I want to use. Okay, so this is the one I want to use, Digi Marketing Academy. So um, what you have to do is you have to um, set your name servers for your hosting company. So what you do is you just tick this wee box and then you click on the set name servers and click set name servers. <coughs> okay. And then a wee box like this will open. Now, before I do that, I actually have to figure out where the name servers need to point. So I will figure that out. Um, that will be told to you in your email by your hosting company. But I already have an, a website set up with them. So I'm just going to go here and it'll tell me where the domains are pointed. Okay, so there we are. So it's 
So in the Hostinger case, it's ns1.hostinger.com right through to ns4. Okay, so click on custom, enter custom domain servers. Okay, so ns1, then ns2, then we'll add another one. This is so that they don't go down. They're, they're, they're meant to be m even more reliable than HostGator. So, oh, don't know what happened there. NS1, NS, oh no, it's actually right. That's actually right. NS4, okay. So NS1, NS2, NS3, and NS4, and I'm gonna click okay. And that will now be my name servers pointed. Click save and that'll process. Okay, so now uh, Digi, Digi Marketing Academy, digimarketingacademy.com will be pointed at my name server. So I can go in here and I can add the website. So D I G I Marketing Academy. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, click add. Okay, so this is now my new um, domain added. This is your new site added. Okay, so I'm gonna click manage. <clears throat> and this is the bit where we will actually install, create your blog. Okay, so what we'll do is here, um, you'll just scroll down And just click on WordPress. Okay. And then at this stage, you would also pick a username and password. So you put your username here, your password and then your administrator email, and then you put the name of your website. So it will be Digi Marketing Academy .com. Marketing strategies to grow your online business. Okay, so you put in the tagline, whatever your website tagline is going to be. So, you know, if it's going to be, a, you know, divorce lawyers in California, it'll be, you know, helping you to get a, you know, um, quick divorce in California or whatever your tagline you want to have for your your website okay so that's it really um, <clears throat> just gonna pause this for one wee second while I fill in the username and password so once we've filled in all those details we'll just click the install button and that will start installing. So now 
and you can go to the domain. And you'll see that that's the website has been created. Okay, so that's our website. That's how to install and create our website um, using the Hostinger hosting system. Uh, one of the other reasons I recommend this a lot is because not only is it very very good and it seems to have a better uptime than most of the other companies but it's also very very fast hosting so that's one of the reasons i think that this is a good choice um, i will be making videos on another few different ways to create your own website and different systems but this is the um, hosted your one i hope you find this useful and I will talk to you soon in the next video. Thanks very much.